years ago, when I first arrived here in Key West for this swim, Cuba, Florida, I couldn't sleep one night, and I went to an all-night drugstore to pick up a couple of items, and there was only one other man in the store shopping, so I was in line right behind him. Turns out he was Cuban. He turned around to me, and he had almost tears in his eyes. He was just welled up with emotion, and he said, something is very important to you right now, isn't it? in his Cuban accent, and I said, it is. And I didn't cry, but I could have. He took out of his wallet this very crisp $2 bill. He had it folded in force, and he said to me that the night that he left Cuba, his grandmother wasn't going with them. The rest of the family with some other people got on a boat, and we all know what's happened to a lot of the Cubans who tried to make it over. They perished. Well, he made it, and his grandmother gave him this $2 bill that night, she said she was too old and that was her country and she wasn't leaving it, but she wanted to give him this for good luck because the Americans believe the $2 bill is for good luck. Well, he gave it to me that night and I said, no, it's from your grandmother. She, he said she told me to give it to somebody if they really needed some luck and you need some luck. I don't know what you're doing or what your life's all about, but tonight you need some luck. So I've had this bill in my wallet for four years and all he promised, made me promise was that one day I give it to somebody else if it looked like they were really in need of some luck. So I keep this. I think of him and his warm eyes. I think of all the Cubans who have made it and not made it across. And one day I will give it in honor of his grandmother and him to somebody who really needs some luck.